and welcome back. Heels and Quads Media here on YouTube. I'm Tommy, back again with number 20 on my KISS album rankings. We're going to go all the way back to 1998. But this was the last album that all four original members, while it wasn't the full album, all four original members appeared on together. And if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure to sign up for patreon.com slash heels and quads. Come hang out with me every week and me and Levi at the end of every month. And check us out live when we go live. In at number 20, Psycho Circus, released September 22nd, 1998. I remember all the buzz of this album coming out. While KISS had been back together for two plus years, I was still too young to see them in concert or even know how to purchase concert tickets. So I missed the Reunion and Psycho Circus tours, but I did know how to be at a store for an album release. And even though the album leaked online, it was such poor quality, and of course back then, dial-up internet, it took forever to download a full album. You either waited, or you gave it a second chance with high-quality CD or even cassette. I remember getting my copy and staring at the cover in all its lenticular glory, and wondering, enhanced CD? What? That sounds special. Thinking, wow, Kiss, original Kiss, a new album. Then we all found out that Peter and Ace had basically nothing to do with it both only on three tracks. Although Ace's In Your Face, which should have been on the actual album, had made it to the bonus CD that came with the Psycho Circus VHS, and maybe even their updated version of It's My Life, which we didn't get until the box set three years later. I think those two added, and maybe a couple taken off, would place this album a little higher on my list. Because for the most part, musically and lyrically, it's pretty decent, but the tainted history alone drops it down in the rankings. However, I still enjoy it because it takes me back to that time and place. Least favorite song, I Finally Found My Way. I finally found my way to you. While it seems like the easy choice, nothing wrong with the vocal. Peter sounds great as always. It sounds like a cheesy rom-com in credit song. An obvious attempt at Paul trying to recreate the magical success of Beth and even Hard Luck Woman in the mid-1970s. Would much rather Peter had an upbeat rocker similar to Black Diamond or Strange Ways. My favorite song? Into the Void. Not only because all four original members are actually on it, it feels most like classic Kiss. Almost like a Shock Me or Rocket Ride Part 2. The Spaceman is back and he told you so. Great riff. While Ace is self-admitted to not be a lead singer, he has that cool tone in his voice that as Kiss fans we all enjoy. The solo kicks off with a bit of the kinks you really got me, then Ace does his thing. Honorable mention, I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll. <laughs> Paul's vocals are on fire in the chorus, an obvious attempt at an anthem. I always liked this one and wish they played it live more. It's hard to not at least mention the title track. I mean, it's been a concert staple for 25 years now, and also Within, featuring the incredible Bruce Kulick. It was originally demoed for Carnival of Souls, which we will talk about soon, but it finds its way here. And there it was, number 20, Psycho Circus from 1998. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to sign up, patreon.com slash heelsandquads. Follow us on social media at heelsandquads on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. While we don't post much on Facebook, we do have our live streams that show there. They also show on Twitter and right here on YouTube. So again, patreon.com slash heelsandquads. Come hang out with me once a week and me and Levi at the end of every month. And I'll see you tomorrow for number 19.